The Unreal Engine 5 will bring true next-gen graphics to many current-gen games and it also makes development of games easier and faster than ever before. From smaller indie games to the biggest AAA games such as the next Witcher game, the next Tomb Raider game or many Xbox first-party titles. The engine provides top-notch graphics and performance and with a major update to the Unreal Engine 5.1 games will look and run even better now. And in this video we are going to discuss what the improvements are and what that means for games games, graphics and performance and why especially console gamers can be excited about this update. Hello gamers from around the world, this is Boxenberger, the video game enthusiast from Germany with my latest video on a major update of the Unreal Engine 5 to Unreal Engine 5.1. Cause just this week Epic Games announced their roadmap that is filled with improvements and especially console gamers can be excited about this. But first, to get the most out of this video you should set your player to full 4K 60fps to get the best audio visual experience I can deliver to you and while you are at it it would be awesome of you to also consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. Thank you guys, you are awesome and now let's talk about the Unreal Engine 5.1. I think the two biggest and most exciting features in the Unreal Engine 5 are Lumen and Nanite. Let's talk about Lumen first. It's the new lighting system introduced in the Unreal Engine 5. This is the lighting technology that helps to overcome some of the limitations of the classic pre-baked lights without being as taxing as ray tracing. Of course, if developers choose to, Unreal 5 supports ray tracing but Lumen gives for instance the ability to use properly moving light sources and it uses effects that are usually only possible with ray tracing such as bounced lighting, illuminating the area for instance in a room with the light bouncing off of objects. I have a dedicated video explaining this a little bit more in detail here on my channel but with the latest update there is a significant improvement coming to Lumen. It will provide improved performance optimizations in high scalability mode with the goal of achieving 60 FPS on consoles. So basically two things are important here to notice. Lumen will now provide even better scalability options across different performing platforms especially on consoles and without mentioning it obviously for instance the Series S comes to mind. And most importantly they target even with Lumen activated 60 FPS for games on consoles. Now why am I so excited about this? Even though Lumen is not as demanding as ray tracing it is also still not free of for computational resources but seeing that they allow to scale Lumen back and forth will help developers in Unreal Engine 5 definitely to achieve 60 FPS. And even more improvements were done to Lumen such as improved support for foliage. The first demos of the Unreal Engine 5 have always been impressive but they mostly have been in rocky areas. That is because the first builds of Unreal 5 did not support properly vegetation and foliage. But obviously if you want to build out a game this has to be addressed. And seeing for instance this footage here from Stalker 2 we we can already tell that the engine has made significant improvements in that field and now this becomes even better. Another big change in the Unreal Engine 5.1 update was on reflections on single layer water. Now what does that mean? For instance the typical paddles in certain scenes are usually built out as single layer water, meaning there is no space underneath the water surface. Which is obviously contrary to for instance with a lake where the player might dive into the actual water. Now these reflections got a significant improvement and obviously with that we don't expect any puddle gate discussions anymore. I'm kidding of course but this is really interesting because especially reflections on water puddles are often used to highlight the big capabilities of ray tracing and seeing that Unreal particularly addresses this just tells you that this engine is trying to provide performance combined with beautiful graphics. But moving on even more improvements to reflections were made because now Unreal Engine 5 supports high quality mirror reflections on translucent surfaces and this is especially interesting because this was another one of the very big benefits coming off of ray tracing. Reflections in for instance windows aka translucent surfaces. So you can really tell the direction where Unreal Engine 5 is going towards. And that is where Unreal tries to mimic with Lumen parts of what makes ray tracing the best lighting technology out there just with less hardware hungry demands. And some of you might say well I just don't see the difference especially during moved images only when you stop the footage and zoom in 3000 times. But but the thing with lighting is that in many scenes we can't really tell why it looks so good. We just say well it does look fantastic and one of the most important parts for a scene to look realistic is lighting. Now given all these improvements
lumens that are coming to the lumen side of things, we can expect significant improvements of reflections and different surfaces and the performance while using this state-of-the-art lighting technology. And speaking of performance, the UE 5.1 update also addresses a major issue that was part of Unreal Engine 4. This is particularly interesting for developers because sometimes they notice stuttering hitches in their games that came from the way how Unreal handles PSO gathering. PSO stands for Pipeline State Object and those caching tools help to reduce loading a level and its content. With the latest update they added an automated PSO gathering. Automated PSO gathering embraces the manual work required to collect all possible PSO combinations for a project while at the same time keeping the number of PSOs as small as possible. And of course this will help developers to work even better with the engine. For us gamers a bit more interesting are probably the improvements that were made towards Nanite which is their new rasterization framework which basically allows developers to use high quality textures and assets. In one of my previous videos I described the effect of Nanite basically as textures don't get blurry anymore when you are close to them. But obviously that's only one of the effects and advantages of Nanite. The new update is opening the door to features such as masked materials, two-sided foliage, pixel depth offset and world position offset. Quite the interesting stuff my friends. Masked materials can be interesting in certain games when you basically remove one object from the other. Two-sided foliage is definitely helping the realistic look of for instance forest areas in games and so on. But with that I already already want to wrap it up. Unreal Engine 5 games are coming really really soon. If it weren't for all the delays we would actually be playing Unreal 5 games this year but starting early next year we will see what this engine is truly capable of. And since it's a new technology it's more than obvious that Epic will improve this engine over time and the first Unreal 5 games will definitely look vastly different than the Unreal 5 games in 4-5 years. I think it's no doubt that the Unreal Engine 5 is one of the most advanced engines in the world and many developers have already announced that they are switching from their own proprietary engines to Unreal 5 and that's why we will see the next Witcher game or Tomb Raider running in this engine. And especially Xbox fans are gonna see a lot of these Unreal 5 games because there are a ton of Xbox first party studios that are using Unreal Engine. And can you imagine this tool in the hands of the capable developers such as Ninja Theory or The Coalition? What they can do with these kind of tools, with this kind of lighting technology, with the texture quality and most importantly with the ease of use of this engine. Gamers, we are in for a treat this channel. And obviously Unreal Engine keeps on improving and I definitely want to hear your thoughts on the latest improvements and what you expect from developers to do with Unreal 5. But for now I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I also want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports this channel with the channel memberships to get early access to all my videos with the super thanks in the comment sections and of course the super chats and simply being there at the weekly gaming show I have here on my channel. You guys are the best community there is. And besides here on YouTube you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now thank you very much for watching. I see you the next time and game on.